I have a problem and it's not easy to talk about. No, it's not ED, it's rats. Okay, so today is the day that you put your purse down, Nancy. It's time to go to war. And that war is rats. And just to specify and clarify, the rats are not in my house. They're technically in the shed. They scurry back and forth along the fence all night long, chewing and crapping and running on the roof, trying to find a way in my house. Every night I can hear them running in the gutters. You walk out the front door at 10 o'clock at night and they go running down the gutters. So time is of the essence. They must go now before they get in the house. So this is how we're going to do it. Step one, we're going to take this really long pipe and we're going to cut it into one foot sections. Step two, we're going to take said pipes and we're going to put them in the shed and we're going to put them behind every other fence post all the way down the fence. And then, of course, step three is going to be an industrial five gallon bucket of rat poison. Okay, stop right there. I know some of you are gonna jump in the comments and say, Steve, isn't there a more humane way to get rid of these mice and to save their little precious lives? No, there's not a more humane way to get rid of these rats because they are currently destroying my backyard and half of my possession. Two, there are probably a hundred of these things and I don't have a humane trap big enough to catch all these mice. Actually, if there was somebody I was mad at, I could try to catch them and then put them in their backyard. But that wouldn't be very nice, would it? I have tried many different methods of capturing, killing, and getting rid of these rats. And the real story of it is they are a pest, they are tearing up all my stuff, and they are currently trying to invade my house. If they get inside, it is going to be a nightmare to get rid of them. So time is of the essence. They must go now. This is unfortunately the best way to do it. Okay, so it's time to do this thing. Let's cut to the build montage. Let's go. Okay, so we have our pipes, we have our poison, and we have our pusher. <laughs> Pipe, poison, pusher. The three P's for killing rats. Okay, so now I've got all my supplies right here. And just kind of thinking about it, I almost feel bad for a moment for the little critters that I'm about to, you know, wage war on. Okay, I'm over it. Okay, so all I have to do is take this pipe and stick it behind that fence post and fill it with poison. Alrighty, so where are they? Where are you? Oh, lasers. Huh? Anyway, uh, let's see. Let me look up here. Oh, there it is. Whoop, there it is. We have a solution. If you live in Florida, you know. Whoa, these little guys right here, they're everywhere. Anytime you walk outside, you hear scurrying in the bushes, and there's just thousands of lizards everywhere. You better be glad you don't chew, you little son of a because I'd get you next. So we got the tie straps. What we're going to do is we're just going to put the pipe here, slide a tie strap in behind, and... Just kidding. Not really a problem. You just use two tie straps. Connect them together, like yang. Put it up here like say, slip it behind, bada bing, bada boom, and you have a highly effective rat killing machine. Step two, take this modified water bottle. I'm selling these on a website, $59 a piece. Just use it and you slide a little food in here. You don't want to spill any out on the ground, that way you know you don't risk 
pets getting it. Got to be really careful of that. Step three. Just going to use this little poker here. And just poke it more towards like the center of the pipe. Let me see. And there you have it. Trap is set. And you might ask, Steve, why are you putting it inside of a pipe? Well, there are two reasons. Reason number one, it keeps the food, I mean, the poison nice and dry. Number two, it will prevent your pets or other large animals from eating the poison and harming themselves. And keep watching because I'm also going to give you a quick description of how rat poison works, just in case you're wondering. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this video up with a little rat poison Q&A, and I'm gonna just answer some of your questions that you might be you know, having in your head before you even have to ask them or drop them in the comments. But if there's something I miss, feel free to ask. Okay, question number one. Does rat poison kill rats? Yes, rat poison kills rats. Question number two. Does rat poison kill mice? Yes, again. Rat poison will kill mice. Question three. Will rat poison kill squirrels? Hopefully. I mean, uh, yes, if they eat enough of it. So if you don't want to kill the squirrels, you need to put it in a place where they can't get to it. But they're really just a, a, a tree rat anyway. Question four? Yeah, four. Does rat poison harm your pets? No and yes. If they eat a little bit, no, it's not going to hurt them. If they get enough of it, yes, it will kill them. And then the question, we'll call question five that you've all been dying to hear is how does the rat poison work and does it hurt the rats okay here's the quick explanation rat poison is an anticoagulant it stops your blood from having the ability to clot the blood so what happens is if you eat enough of it you just basically internally bleed to death and die that's how rat poison works is it painful to the animal does it really matter I've never eaten poison myself, so I would just have to assume it's probably not the best death. They probably get really sick and then die. But if they didn't tear my shit, I wouldn't have to take extreme measures. So I hope you learned something in this video. Drop a comment down below, like or dislike. I'm sure this one's gonna get a lot of these for wiping out little furry animals, but it is what it is. I'm Steve WB and I'm out. <laughs>